Woo! I'm mad. I'm I'm not I'm not mad. I'm just my blood is boiling a little bit. I got a, a little message from from this giant fan called F2 Pr Productions. What an idiot, people! These giant fans are getting on my last nerve. Now I caught hell from my Dallas Cowboys people because I was jumping up and down. Rooting for the Giants to win the Super Bowl because I support the NFC East, even if we lose. It's kind of like the uh, Democratic Party. You support your party. You support your, your your division when you when you win. That's my mentality. I know a lot of people don't think that way. A lot of people hate the Redskins. You're going to hate the Redskins. Honestly, it will be hard for me to ever pull for the Redskins or Eagles, to tell you the truth. But I could pull for the Giants for some reason. I pull for the Giants in the Super Bowl to win. I hate the Patriots more. That's the reason why. But... These giant fans are fucking getting on my goddamn nerves. They're stupid. They can't they can't enjoy their victory without talking shit about us. I ain't said a goddamn thing about the fucking Dutch Giants. Screw them. They had a great, great end of the season last year, and I'm not saying bad stuff about them, but they continually have to talk about Romo. Romo, 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 like they got some kind of sexual fetish with Romo. I mean, you you just you just feel shots. Coming from the the cow from the uh, the Giants fans for what reason I don't know. Sit back, enjoy your Super Bowl before we start kicking your ass again next year. And then this F two Productions dude says the eat no 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 he came back at me because I said that in the room in, in my room the Dallas Cowboys show live show. One of my guys in there, St. Jimmy, said, "Why don't you compare Eli's uh, Super Bowl season?" With Troy Aikman's Super Bowl segment. And he said, how old was Tro uh, Troy Aikman when that happened? Four years. It was Troy's fourth year. It was Eli's fourth year. And Troy was perfect that year. Eight touchdowns, no interceptions, and one less game to Eli, which is six, in six touchdowns, one interception. So it was totally much, 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 much better than Eli. Secondly, he makes another note down here. Eli had one of the best playoff runs of any quarterback ever. Dumbass. He calls me ass backwards, people. He calls me ass backwards. And he made a statement like that, oh, Eli Manning. Now, y'all was going to kick Eli Manning out of New York halfway through the season. Eli was gone. Coughlin was gone. And they turned things around at the end of the season, had an amazing run. At the end of the year, beat everybody's ass, and now you want us to them hail Troy uh, uh, Eli Manning, and you were the one that was kicking Eli's ass during the season. You were the one talking shit about Eli during the season. You were the one talking about Coughlin during the season, and now you want us to respect and go, oh, oh, you're great when you didn't even have respect for your own damn team. So don't come at us with the bullshit. And now talking about Eli Manning had the best playoff run ever. Let me read. 80, this is the last 20 years. Last 20 years of playoffs. Bernie Kozar, 105. No, first, I'm going to give you Eli's. Eli, 95.7 passer rating in the playoffs last year. 87, Bernie Kozar, 105.4. 88, Joe Montana, 117. 89, Joe Montana, 146.4. 90, Boomer Sison, 113.3. 90, Jim Kelly, 110.4. 90, Joe Montana, 104.7. 91, Eric Kramer, 104.3. 90, Warren Moon, 106.0. 92, Troy Aikman, 126.4. 92, Warren Moon, 103.0. 92, Frank Wright, 96.9. 93, Jeff Hosteller, 146.0. 93, Troy Aikman, 104.0. 93, Neil O'Donnell, 99.0. 94, Steve Young, 117.2. 94, Dan Marino, 116.4. 94, Joe Montana, 102.8. 94, Neil O'Donnell, 96 even. 95, Rodney Pete, 132.4. 95, Rod Brett Favre, 106.9. 95, Troy Aitman, 106.1. 96, Brett Favre, 107.5. 96, Dr John Elway, 99.2. 97, Frank Wright, 99.0. 98, Randall Cunningham, 97.8. 99, Jeff George, 108.5. 99, Kurt Warner, 100.0. 2001, Vinny Testaverde, 109.2. 01, uh, Rich Gannon, 105.8. 02, 
Kerry Collins, 112.7. 0.2, Kelly Holcomb, 107.6. 0.3, Peyton Manning, 106.4. 0.3, Jake DeLone, 106.1. 0.4, Tom Brady, 109.4. 0.4, Peyton Manning, 107.4. 0.4, Jake Plummer, 103.1. 04, Drew Brees, 101.2. 04, Mark Bulger, 98.6. 05, Ben Roethlisberger, 101.7. 07, Brett Favre, 99. 07, Peyton Manning, 97.7. 07, Tom Brady, 96. And 07, Eli Manning, 95.7. There's 42 quarterbacks with better passing rating than Eli Manning in the playoffs. And you're going to want us to damn bow down and say he's the greatest quarterback ever now. What the hell is wrong with you people? Enjoy your damn Super Bowl. Get back. Go enjoy some beers and quit trying to take stabs at us. Are we that great? Fucking idiots.